All right, for this next set of problems, uh, I want to go ahead and look at this picture up here where we have uh, a 90 degree angle, uh, four unknown angles, and then a 30 degree angle. All right, and so our job is to figure out what are the missing angles here in this, in this picture. Um, so one thing that we know right off the bat is we know that uh, we have a set of vertical angles. All right, so this, 90 degree angle all right is vertical with angle three um, so that tells us right away that angle three is equal to 90 degrees okay uh, we also know that uh, since this is 90 all right and this is 30 uh, and our unknown angle is in between these two that will add up to give you a straight line. Uh, we know that, let's see, 180 minus 90 minus 30. All right, and that's gonna give us uh, 60 degrees. So this unknown angle right here at angle four is gonna be a 60 degrees. Okay, and 60 degrees is vertical with angle one. So angle one is also 60 degrees. And angle two is also vertical with uh, our 30 degrees. So uh, angle two is also gonna be 30 degrees. Okay. Um, let's see, let's, let's also talk about this. Um, we could say that angle one and angle two are complementary. All right, and these are Complementary because they add up to equal uh, 90 degrees. Uh, so 30 plus 60 is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so remember that uh, anything that's complementary adds up to equal 90, and anything that's supplementary is going to add up to equal 180 degrees. Um, we also know that. Uh, lines that intersect in a right angle are perpendicular. So uh, we could also say that the uh, green lines right here, if I color code these, the green lines are going to be the lines that are perpendicular to one another. Okay. Now let's go ahead and look um, at some angle addition. All right. So let's say you have have this angle, let's say W, Y, Z, and it's cut by a ray that's, uh, let's see, Y, X. Okay, and let's go through and let's label this angle. All right, let's say that W, Y, X is 20 degrees. And let's say that x, y, z is 4x plus 6. Um, and let's say maybe that the um, whole angle, the whole angle w, y, z is equal to uh, let's go ahead and give it uh, 62 degrees. All right. And so in this case, uh, since they tell us what the hole is, all right, we know that that hole is 62. Okay, we can go through and we can say uh, our part one, 20 degrees, plus my part two, which is 4x plus 6. 
is equal to 62. All right, and so now I just turn it into solving a, just like an algebra one equation. So I've got uh, combined like terms, it's 26 plus 4x is equal to 62. Uh, I'm gonna subtract 26 from both sides. So that gives me 4x is equal to, let's see what that is, 42 minus 6. So that's going to be 36. And then we're going to divide by 4. And so you get x is equal to 9. Okay. Now, if we had been told um, on this type of problem that something was an angle bisector, all right, so remember that an angle bisector means that these angles are cut in half. Uh, so angle one is equal to angle two. So instead of doing like we did on the example problem where we did uh, angle 1 plus angle 2 equals the whole okay for an angle bisector problem all you have to do when you're setting it up is just set angle 1 equal to angle 2 and then we can go ahead and solve um, and figure out what we're doing from there okay uh, for this next set of problems uh, what we're going to do is look at parallel lines that are cut by a transversal or cut by a line that intersects these. Okay. Um, if you remember, uh, there are going to be various types of angles that we have within these parallel lines. So I'm just going to label these angles three, four. Let's see, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. So what we need to, to discuss on this uh, is the different types of angles. So the first type of angles are corresponding angles. Um, and there are various types of corresponding angles that we could have. Uh, corresponding angles are, are basically in the same spot. They correspond to each other. Uh, one's on the inside of the parallel lines and one's on the outside of the parallel lines. Uh, so an example of corresponding angles would be angle 8 all right, and angle 4 for this picture. Okay, You could also have angle 6 and angle 1. Uh, or angle 3 and angle 7. All right, so a bunch of different choices, really, for what these corresponding angles are going to be. All right, the next type of angles that we have, uh, we have alternate interior angles. All right, and so alternate interior. Alternate means on opposite sides of our transversal. All right, so we think about where is your transversal? It's this line that's cutting through uh, the middle of the parallel lines. So it needs to be on opposite sides of those. And then on the inside of your parallel lines. Uh, so for example, uh, you could say that angles three and angles five <clears throat> are alternate interior angles. Uh, we also know the altered interior angles are equal to each other. All right, and, and side note, the corresponding angles are, are equal to each other as well. Um, so here, altered interior angles, angle 3 is equal to angle 5. All right, conversely, you could have angle 4 is equal to angle 6 as well. Okay, another type, we could have alternate exterior angles. 
Okay, those are equal as well. Alternate exterior, so angles that are on alternating sides of the transversal and on the outside of your parallel lines. Um, so here, angle 2 is equal to angle 7. Uh, also, angle 1 is equal to angle 8 for this picture. Um, and another type of angles, um, we have same side interior angles. All right, and our same side interiors are going to be like angle 4 and angle 5. They're on the same side of the interior or on, of the transversal, and they're on the interior of your parallel lines. So angle 4 plus angle 5, these add up to equal 180 degrees. Uh, also, you know that angle 3 plus angle 6 equals 180 degrees. Um, and so if, if we have the same kind of picture, um, and let's say that I erase these numbers, and we have to figure out some of the missing information. Um, let's say that this bottom angle down here is 120 degrees. Um, what we know is that this is 180 degrees total. So 120 plus 60 degrees would give me that 180 degrees. Uh, these two are vertical, 60 degrees. Alternate interior angles are equal, so this is 60 degrees. And then vertical angles are equal, so this is also 60 degrees. And then for the same reasoning, we have 120, 120, and 120. So once we find one of those angles, we're able to find all the rest of those angles um, in there when you have two lines that, that are parallel. Um, and the reason that is is because if we know uh, the slope of one parallel line, uh, we know that the slope of parallel lines are actually equal to each other. So let me write that down. Slope of parallel lines is equal. So if one equation, maybe the, the bottom line, this slope is, y equals 1 over 3x plus 2, um, then we know the line up top has also got to be 1 over 3x plus something. All right, but both of them have the same slope, which is 1 over 3.